Being an independent filmmaker isn't for the faint-hearted, but Anika Makista found herself so inspired by the untold story of South African Indian indentured women that she decided to produce a documentary herself. I work closely with Anika on this project, and here's the background story. Just as no two waves were ever the same, so will no two personal viewpoints ever be identical, and women filmmakers are finding fresh perspectives. There's been a rise in female filmmakers stepping into their power and their passion and using film as a medium to ensure that their voices are heard far and wide. Annika Maikista is one of these fierce females who is fast making a name for herself in the film industry. Annika Maikista holds a master's degree in cinematography and film and video production. And although she is now based in the UK, she was drawn back to her home country to tell a story that was personally significant. Annika, so lovely to see you! Annika, tell me a bit about your childhood and where you grew up. I had the best childhood. I actually grew up in Tongat, in an area called Belvedere. And then my parents moved to Westbrook, which is just across here from the lovely ocean. And what took you to London? A boy. My husband and I met in Johannesburg, and after a few years of dating, he was like, I think you should experience London. So we decided to move there, and now it's been two and a half years. How does the film industry in the UK differ from South Africa? I think one of the biggest things is that the South African film industry is fairly new. We need to really work hard at creating space to create more work for the talent that we have here. Because we do, we really do have the talent locally. Annika and I have been working on an incredibly powerful project titled iCooly. I can't wait for her to tell you more about it, but I think we should go have a proper chai and chat over a German curry. Perfect, I know the best spot. What would the waves say if they could talk? If they could carry stories like they carried boats? They were brought out from India, and I use the word brought because indenture is different. It's not slavery because the people were paid. And uh, although it is bonded labor, they, were, they could not leave these barracks for five years. And because of the conditions, even though they were paid, Gandhi called it semi-slavery, and I agree with that definition. The colonialists who had a foot in India as well as in Africa thought it was uh, an opportune time for people to come to Africa in search of, of new opportunities. And that's how they came. So they came with the sense of hope that their lives would change. My mother told me that the women cut cane as well. So it wasn't just hard work assigned to men. The women did it as well. Annika, how did I Cooley come about? Two and a half years ago when I moved to the UK, the British people didn't really realize that there was a huge community of Indians living in South Africa and how we came about. And so I started researching and I started finding stories and I stumbled across the most amazing stories about these women of indenture. I love that this is a movie by women for women. It's been the most amazing experience because when I found these stories and I started working on them, the first person I approached was Gabriella Bimberg, who is now the director of I Cooley. And she was like, wow, I need to be a part of this. And it's just grown into this amazing I Cooley community with the most amazing women that we have on board. So it's been a space to really give voice to, to female roles. How important do you think the role is of the female filmmaker right now within the industry? We've had amazing men behind the lens, but how can you know how women think and eat and want? Women know that. And because we're so complicated and we have so much more to give, it should be fair that we have the opportunity to create that space. I love that. That's so powerful. Where are you from here? There's so many things in the pipeline. The world is my oyster. So watch the space.